I don't. Ah! <laughs> wow, that scared me. Hey, internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Remember, Remember. So, in the last episode, uh, I did die. Uh, I did get a bad ending right away <laughs> because I wasn't quick enough with the maze thing. So, I'm gonna try my best to get through the mazes of this game. I just, I just have a bad time with anything that's like timed, like timed games because my anxiety is just like, fuck, I need to finish this, but yeah. So I'll try my best to get through it, but in the last episode, we did learn that from the bad ending, the masked man did say, I'm sorry it had to come down to this, you had to spill innocent blood. So that kind of gives us a clue that our friends are innocent. At least that's the Im implication that I'm getting, or he could be tricking us, I don't freaking know. And at the same time, it seemed like the way that he was speaking also implied that Sarah was dead. So those are two clues that we figured out. And then also from that, the beta blockers that the mass man gave us is um, kind of, you know, losing its effect because we're starting to remember what happened now. But every time we remember things, it hurts uh, them. We'll just see how it goes. Ah! We made it. Okay, I beat the maze and we saved everybody. That was close. Are you guys all right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're okay. Bravo! Huh. You managed to free them once again in record time. I must say. In record I time because best. I panicked. <laughs> that was close though. If I made a mistake, then everyone would have been done for. Yet, why does a part of me feel aggravated? I wonder. How has the hunt for the truth been? Don't ask like you can't I'm watch more what we're doing at all times. Than anything because I can't tell if the masked person is just fucking with Chris by saying, "Oh, they're all innocent. Oh, Sarah's dead." Like, you know what I mean? Like, I can't tell. Wait, what? He can see us even when he's not on the Rosa. Stupid question. Right. Yeah, the masked man is here. <laughs> What's wrong with asking? Just because I can monitor everyone doesn't mean I can read minds through the cameras. Honestly, I don't want to care. This guy's just some sadist that takes enjoyment in our, in our torment. So there's no reason to feed the beast an answer. Oh? No reply? Not even after you stopped innocent blood from spilling? See? He even says it there! Wow, okay, I didn't think he would say that. I only thought he would say it in the bad ending, but... From stopping innocent blood from spilling. So the friends must be innocent, right? Or is he just fucking with us? Innocent blood? Does that confirm that this is a trick? No, that can't be. He's twisting the words around. First he claimed that some of my friends knew the truth and hid it from me. Now he's praising me for saving them. Also, what I also noticed too, when the flashback with Chris, with um, Sarah, during the maze, the mask was just like, uh, there was someone there watching Sarah every move. And this got me thinking, some people said this in the comments as well, that maybe the masked person or the person who got Sarah kidnapped wasn't any of them, wasn't the friends or wasn't Chris or any of them. It was somebody who used to be friends with them, but something happened, maybe they had a fallout or they got in an argument or something, and that person wanted to take revenge on Chris specifically and decided to take the sister. So that's kind of what I'm also gathering from this. I don't know, though. They're all innocent. Not all of them. Surely you know that. What the hell does that mean? I already told you. Unless you want to tell me who the guilty ones are, they are all innocent. Don't think you can change my mind. As you say, then. I can tell that this won't be the last time he'll be bringing that up. He wants me to turn against my friends, but unless I know who are, who are the wrong ones, I can't. I wonder how long it will take for everyone to remember. I hope not that long! It won't take long. We'll remember everything soon and get out of here. Don't expect a happy ending, Rosa. I really don't, not considering this is a psychological is horror. A <laughs> is there no way to get a happy ending? Michaela, are you just trying to fuck with me now by saying that? <laughs> well then, until next time. You should probably get some rest. Huh. This is psychotic. What if that freak doesn't plan to let us go? I think we'd be dead by now if that were the case. We need to focus on remembering whatever truth he keeps talking about. And the faster I can know who... Wait, why am I thinking like that? I can't let the kidnapper get to me. He keeps changing the story. 
First he made it seem like everyone was involved. Now he's saying that they're all innocent. Now that he's saying that there are innocent people among us, which is it? Or how many are innocent? If the truth doesn't drive me crazy, the kidnapper might. God damn it. How are we going to get through this? How long is it going to take for the truth to come out? Stop. I need to sit down and think. Maybe if I think about the day Sarah was taken... As much as I don't want to, I may have a- I might not have a choice. I have to figure this out. Maybe I can glean something from the memory. God, okay, let's see what's gonna happen now! I'll just close my eyes and remember- Remember- <laughs> Huh? Uh-oh. Sarah wasn't anywhere to be found. I ran up and down the block trying to find her. It was so dark I could barely see past the streetlights. Every time I called her name, I would only hear it being echoed back at me in the air or being followed by neighbors rushing out to inspect the noise. I didn't care, my mind was only on finding Sarah. Then I heard someone. Someone was running up to me and tried to help. Was it a neighbor? No. I remember feeling relief when I saw them. Was it one of my friends? Who was it? Who? Uh oh. Are we gonna faint again? No matter how hard I try, can I get the clear image? If I push myself anymore, my head will explode. Damn it. How am I supposed to do anything when I can't even remember that night? Fuck. And now my head is pounding. I need to sleep. Shit. Uh oh. Will I lose myself in this? Will I be able to figure this all out and save everyone? I keep asking myself this and honestly the answer keeps pushing- It keeps getting pushed farther and farther away from my grasp. The longer we stay here, the more unsure I become. Is it because we're slowly going to remember the truth? Is it because I eventually will figure out who is lying to me? Was it one of my friends? Or was it the mask? I don't know. And I'm frightened. I mean, I don't blame him. I would be too. I feel like shit, but I have been burning. I have a burning feeling that I'll feel like this for a while, at least while we're in this place. At least while we have the beds and foods, as well as personal bathrooms. More things to make this place even creepier. Was this place built with with us in mind? I have a feeling it was. Like I said in the last episode, I feel like this guy planned this after a long course, a long period of time. This wasn't just like a random act. However, even in the privacy of the bathroom, I can't wake up. Not even the sink water splashing on my face could jolt me out of this nightmare. All it would do would send water drips down my face. It's strange. The more I keep looking into the mirror, the more I barely recognize who I see. Maybe it's the dark circles, or maybe it's the lingering... It's the lingering will buried in my soul staring back at me. My will to survive, my will to keep pushing forward, despite this psychotic game I've landed myself in. Slowly but surely, I'm becoming unrecognizable. How long will it take until I don't even look like myself, with only my eyes to rem to remind myself that I am who I believe I myself to be? Another rush of water across my cheeks. I need to snap out of it and figure out what to do next. I have to talk to someone. If I keep fighting this alone, I'll start downing downing everyone, and I cannot and I cannot let that happen. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Okay, who can we talk to today? Who should we talk? I did talk to Xavier last time. I kind of want to talk to Rosa for now. Let's. Do this because I think there are like roots in this that you can do. I'm not entirely sure. That's what I heard from Christy. If you guys see in Christy's version, because she's going after Peter, she's going balls deep for Peter. And I would like to go balls deep for Xavier, but I don't know if that's possible. Anyway, <laughs> I wonder if Rose is available now. I don't see her in the main room or the kitchen. She's probably in her room. Rosa? Huh? Come in. Good morning or afternoon, whatever time it is. Good that time. You could just say, hey. <laughs> That's really awkward. Yeah, I guess that works, doesn't it? She looks like she needs more sleep. I hope I didn't wake her. Sorry. Did I wake you up? Huh? Oh, no, no, I was awake. I uh, just haven't really had a lot of sleep, I guess. Well, that, you know, that's fair enough. How come? Well, I've been trying to figure out how I can get us all to recall our memories without potentially hurting ourselves. Mm-hmm. Because I don't know anything about the medicine affecting us, I'm pretty much going on what I can remember. It's good to know that she's trying to help us out, despite me saying no, no to forcing the memories out together. Still, for her loss of sleep over it, I, I mean, like it's good that she wants to help, but I feel like, am I the only one who feels like you know she's not bad person, like? I feel like Rosa can be trusted. Is that me? Like, I don't know. I'll suggest sleeping. You should still sleep, you know? No, you really should sleep regardless. Don't risk yourself passing out over this. Huh? Why did Rosa's face suddenly turn red? Oh! <laughs> oh! No, no, I'm fine. 
Really, I promise. That was oddly cute of her. Oh my god, can we romance Rosa? Is this like a thing? If it is, I then uh, fuck it. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Would you mind if I tried something? Hmm. What is it? I want to try some word association. Maybe with that, I can help me remember things like what kind of student you were, or even your relationship with all of us. I don't know. It's a start to regaining what we lost. Oh, that makes sense, sure. Alright, doesn't hurt to try. Alright. Hit me with whatever you got. Hit me with your best shot! Alright. Man, being a medical student must teach you a lot of things. Does that mean she can still remember the stuff she learned in class? Would that be a part of memory, or is it a different part of her brain? Who knows? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. School. College. Classes. Nothing? School. I am a college graduate. I remember- Oh shit, it hey, works! Chris, did you finish your case file for class? I was in some sort of criminal justice student. My last final was a case file about a series of missing people. Whoa. Oh, that makes sense why he would want to go into criminal justice because of what happened to Sarah, right? It hit- it hit pretty hard with me, so I did my best to work on it as it could, but I wound up driving me to a nearby bar to relieve the stress it came with. Hmm? Yeah, I finished it. <sighs> Lucky, I'm still stuck on mine. <laughs> You'll figure it out, I'm sure of it. I always tried to be a good guy for the other students, but I couldn't deny my introverted thoughts, hoping that people would just leave me alone. Dude, I know that feeling. <laughs> I was in the bar to drink, not to socialize. However, when a friend came along, my tune always seemed to change. Chris? Hmm? Rosa? What are you doing here? <laughs> I got out of class early. Figured I'd stop and grab a drink before heading to my apartment, you know? She did nursing, so she was also stuck in the science lab of the school. It was rare to see her, so when she did when she did appear, I was more than happy to hang out with her. I don't know why, but I'm happy remembering this, despite it being a short memory. Could they be in a relationship, maybe? Or maybe they had, like, a thing for each other? I don't know, maybe that's a possibility. Huh. Uh... I remember. <laughs> oh god. Holy shit, my head. Chris, hold on. Do these headaches occur every time I remember things? Ugh, water. Water from the sink. I wish I had a cup to drink instead. Still, it, it can help with my headache. Why do I even get these headaches every time we remember things? This is beyond stupid. At least I remembered something about my past, but what was was it worth it? Maybe. Chris, here, what? Or you can drink from the sink too. <laughs> Huh? Rosa got me a glass? Thanks, Rosa. No problem. I didn't expect the headache to be that strong. No, it's okay. We don't even know what the fuck's happening. Well, you can't really expect the pain level of a headache. Still, it's a start. But we don't want to push it. At least we got something. You're telling me. That hurt like hell. Sorry. It's not her fault. At least you were able to remember something. Yeah. Thank you. Tick tock! It's time for no. another game. I need a save Everyone because I might die again. Make your way to the main room. Fuck you, dude. Shit. Rosa looks like she doesn't want to go. Then again, who would? Yeah, can you really blame her? I mean, like, they're gonna kill them. I don't even want to go. I let's comfort Rosa, I'll man. Okay, Rosa. We'll get through this and get out of here soon. Even if this doesn't end up in a romantic way, like, I feel like I would be that friend to comfort them, right? Because they're, they're about to die, essentially. I believe you. I'm just scared. No, it's okay. But I'll be okay. Rosa looks a little better after t taking a breath. Good. Let's go. All right. Fuck this. So shall we begin? Please take your place. Oh God! Oh God! We're gonna get out of here. I don't believe you know that for certain. Yeah, I might kill them He's again. <laughs> we'll slowly remember and get out of this hellhole. Lisa and Xavier, such brave souls. I find it interesting that you both are still so confident that you'll make it out, despite the odds against you. Dude, shut up. Then you're stupider than you act. Oh? Enlighten me. Why should we give up when we know there's a chance to leave? If we trust Chris to save us and help us get out, then I see nothing wrong with being confident. I like Xavier the best. I'm going to just put that out there right now. <laughs> Very fair. But... Allow me to be the realistic one among us. Your fate is in Chris's hands. Chris can very easily let you all drown. Shut the hell up! Oh shit! But it's true, is it not? Why, you could start the game and quite literally step away from the console, letting the time run out. This guy's such a fucking sick bastard. Like I would do that. 
You would consider saving the accomplices of your sister's kidnapping? Dude, you're fucking with me! Stop it! You still haven't shown any proof that any of them were involved. I'm seriously tired of this guy trying to convince me otherwise. Enough of the games. I want to learn the truth and leave. I don't want to believe that my friends were involved. I don't want to judge them, and there's no proof of any of them were involved. Why am I letting this asshole get to me? You have shown nothing to me. Exactly. To prove that any of them were involved with Sarah's disappearance. I don't have to believe a damn word you say. You're just making us play this stupid game because it's funny, aren't you? That's right, you have nothing to say. That's right, bitch! <laughs> Chris. You really believe us? That's why I trust you. Yay! That's why all of us trust you. If that is what you want to believe, then so be it. Huh? I can't force you to believe me, but the time isn't right for me to prove anything to you. What the fuck? I... Fuck you. Be as hostile as you want, Chris. I don't I like this guy! No Stop playing games, bunker. dude! And the only way I will allow you all to leave is when you play my game and learn the truth. I won't just hand you your freedom. You have to work for it. Or, I will decide your fates for you. Also, side note, how rich is this motherfucker that he has this bunker with like 5 billion TVs in the back that he's able to do all this, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's right, no matter how much we fight, we're still trapped in here. I have to play his cruel game, even if it's a lie. Will he ever let us go then? Now you understand who was in power here. You lost the power to control your fate when you allowed Sarah out of your sight that night. Fuck you, dude. It's probably not even his fault, right? Like, it could have been just an accident. How did this guy know? How did I know that? Simple. I know everything that happened that night. I have evidence and records of every step Sarah made and who left her to be taken by birds. That makes no sense, because in the flashback, Chris said that it was just him and his sister and his parents were out. So who the fuck- someone was just stalking them? Again, with the bird metaphor. Now, you will play my little game and discover the truth without my proof. That is your punishment for letting Sarah be taken. Do you understand? This guy's acting like he's her sibling, not me. I will take that as a yes. That's weird. Chris. Rosa, leave it alone. Chris needs to focus. Yeah. You got it, Chris. Don't let this freak get to you. Okay, Peter. And there you all go again. So supportive and confident. It's like a huge circle, a battle of truth and lie. I know the truth. And none of you will speak of it. We would if we remembered. But you didn't, did you? The ones involved let the truth be hidden for years. And wow, now you are all what? trapped here because of your cowardice. Oh my god. How could this guy lie so easily, yet how could this guy sound like he's telling the truth? I know! I don't like it! Is he really someone I should listen to, or is he just playing a fucked up game for his own enjoyment? I don't want to believe him, but none of his actions prove that he is doing this just for fun. He could have killed us by now, yet he hasn't. Exactly! Again, this seems so planned. I don't think this guy's just doing it like, Oh, I'm gonna laugh at these guys, make a joke out of it. It's just a prank, bro, like Josh did in Until Dawn. I don't think it's anything like that. Like, this was planned in a way to get revenge. And this is why I think it's Sarah, but in the previous video, I kind of speculate she's probably dead. So I'm very confused now. Maybe she's not dead. Maybe it was all a prank, too. She faked her own death, and then now she's the mask man. I don't know what to believe anymore. Now, we've talked for long enough. Let's start the game. Don't you have something to tell us? Huh? Oh, that's right. The next part of the story. The butterfly then met a horrible bee. Oh, great. The bee was doing terrible business I hate bees. with wasps. Or at least wasps, but I should say. when the butterfly approached, it stopped to chat. The butterfly told the bee that what it was doing was wrong. So, the horrible bee shooed the butterfly away, scaring it back into the darkness of the night. So the game will have bees or something? Maybe the monster is a bee. The glass tubes are set and the game is waiting for me. Sarah, I'm sorry for not being there. I will learn the truth soon. Oh shit, here we go. Oh my god, fuck my life. I hate this! Do this. Jesus Christ, the water stopped. Oh shit! What is that? 
Oh god! <laughs> Fuck my life, dude. Oh my god, that legit scared me. This is why I keep losing this game, because I don't know, like, how to avoid the beat, or at least I don't know, like, which way it's gonna come from, oh, you know? Water stopped. Also, Thanks, what are Chris. those things in the middle? Are they supposed to block the way? I think they are, right? Oh, shit. Ah! Can you not fucking stupid wasp bee? I hate- I hate bees, or at least the sound it makes, because it freaks me the fuck out. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Oh fuck god, you! <laughs> Thank you, Chris. God damn this game. God, we're out. Good job, Chris. Oh my god, I want to end my life there. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I think I did restarted it like three or four times. I don't fucking know. I want to be happy that I beat his game, yet I can't pat myself on the back. This monster who kidnapped us is apparently punishing us for what we did to Sarah. Innocent or not, I will forever blame myself for letting Sarah get out of my sights. But to put my friends through this... If any of them are innocent, then it's my job to make sure that they stay alive. But in doing so, I must put them through hell of potential death. This is truly torture. Well done. Well done. I am surprised you managed to figure the level out. Wait, now since Chris just said that, maybe maybe it's none of his friends. Because again, I don't know who's telling the truth, but if he's saying that they're innocent blood, his friends, and then Chris by saying, like, putting my friends through this, this is truly torture... So, is Chris the one who's involved? Because that would- that would make sense too, if they're- if the friends are not involved, it's just him. But, then again, how would he have his own sister be kidnapped? That makes no sense. I'm smarter than you think. And stubborn as well. At least Chris is keeping us alive. But, for how long? How long? I couldn't answer that even if I wanted to. There are too many viables, too many hopes and desperate- and despairs that would shatter any choice I make if I don't know about them beforehand. What if I saved someone who had direct hand in my sister's experience? What if I killed someone because of an accident? What if I tortured someone innocent? This entire game of the kidnappers torture porn, and I am the one- and I am the star. Mm. Your face is utterly enigmatic, Chris. Oh, dude, don't- don't say I that. Wonder, are you thinking about the future? How ominous. Well... I suppose uh, I will leave you to your thoughts. It may take a while for the culprits to remember everything, and you need to stay sharp to figure out who was lying. We wouldn't lie to him. We're his friends. Friendship didn't stop some of you before. But let's not beat a dead insect while it's down, shall we? Uh, hmm. Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good rest. Fuck you, dude. The silence between all of us is almost de deafening. Are we supposed to s What are we supposed to say, though? We're all indeed caught in this disturb disturbing nest. <laughs> Too bad we don't have alcohol, huh? <laughs> Peter, once again, making like light of the situation. I know I got mad at him last time, but I, I do admire that Peter is just trying to be all sweet and stuff. Peter, now is not the time to be funny. Then win, Lisa. We already have the kidnapper trying to tear us apart. Exactly. As much as I hate to say it, Peter's right. We need to maintain our focus and get the hell out of here. Exactly. Even if that means listening to Peter's shitty jokes. <laughs> I do appreciate his shitty jokes, hey, though. Hey, fuck off. They're funny. <laughs> but how long will that take? Oh my god. We could be here for weeks. Months, even. No, don't think and like that. what if the kidnapper is lying? What if he never lets us go? As much as that's a possibility, I think that won't be the case. Something about him seems genuinely genuine to fuck this... To, to this fucked up game he's putting us through. Even though he, it doesn't feel eternal, it's like he's preparing me for the bigger picture. I think so too. I don't think he's like, like oh, I'm going to keep these like as pets. I legit think this is for Chris. You know? If this guy is trying to get me to learn what happened, or is it some kind of mind game for being a terrible sibling? Either way, I don't think that it is forever. There, has, there will be an end. But will any of us be prepared for it? I know I'm not. Yeah, I think it's for Chris. In a way to either show him or torture him for letting Sarah get kidnapped. Because I don't, I don't, if it's Chris, like, how would he be, uh, let his sister get kidnapped like that? That makes no sense. Another day, another game. There's an, there's an end, but how far are we, but how far are we to it? There are too many factors to consider and so many fears to overcome just thinking about this. 
I can only hope that I'll make it out here with some sort of sanity in check. That I even make it out. That that's e that's if I even make it out. One wrong move and I could get everyone killed. I could get myself killed. Yet. Are you okay, Chris? What? Huh? Oh, it's a flashback. What's I thought it was wrong? a ghost. <laughs> I just. I don't feel like playing right now. Why not? Sarah. Okay. It's complicated. Complicated? Like, it's hard to explain. I guess I feel... What? Hopeless, worried, conflicted, everything, nothing, absolutely nothing. Huh. Have I finally cracked? My memories are bleeding into reality and yet I feel nothing. For the first time, my sleep felt normal. I didn't pass out, but when I opened my eyes again, I felt somehow refreshed. Is this some sort of form uh, self-belief? Am I trying to keep myself from falling apart? If I crack now, we'll never get out of here no matter what. You can do it! Huh? Oh, Sarah, from my memories. Slowly but surely, I can recall everything she has said to me. And even if it melds so perfectly into my situation that I can't even tell if she's here or not. Not even a splash of water can erase her voice from my head. Was this part of my punishment? Was this something planned out, out, of the, out by the kidnapper? He had to have expected this. Or maybe this is self-inflicted, an attempt to punish myself on top of the game that I have to play. I will truly never know. Still, at least I have my friends to rely on for now. Okay. Rosa, Xavier, Peter. I, eh, I mean, I kind of want to talk to Rosa again because that was adorable, their interaction. But I kind of want to talk to everybody at least. So I'm going to go see Peter today. I need to talk to Peter. He's been constantly supportive to me this entire experience. Plus, he may have unlocked some memories. It'll be a win-win situation either way. He's probably making us food right now, so it'll, it'll relax the conversation. Huh? Oh. Hey, Chris. Hey, Pete. What are you making? Holy crap. Whatever it is, it smells amazing. How could that possibly be? Oh. Well, I'm making some veg soup. Oh, there okay. were some frozen vegetables in the freezer, so I decided, fuck it. Let's make some fancy soup, you know? <laughs> okay. Fancy soup? Hey, it's not like we have any fresh food, all right? I'm making do with what we Peter's have. Pretty, Peter's pretty cute, not gonna lie. As funny as it is, it's really nice on Peter to try to give at least us com uh, to give us comfort food of some sorts, despite it not being fancy as we'd imagine. Thanks, Pete. Anytime, Chris. I'm sure everyone will like it. At least I hope so, anyway. Yeah. And now comes the silence. Jeez, when I thought about having a relaxing conversation, I didn't mean one for mind readers. <laughs> ask Pete. Okay, let's ask Tiger Nap. No, let's ask him about the memories. Might as well. Hey, Pete, do you remember anything? Hmm? Yeah, a little. Like what? Well, that's good. I hope it's more than a little. Like what? Well, I remember my family and stuff. Okay, that's good. I remember my parents. Ah! How... That's adorable. I remember my parents, how they were always busy and never had time to cook for me and my brothers. It was odd, taking care of two little brothers. But somehow I made it work. Oh. You had two little brothers? Yeah, they were in middle school, but they were pretty smart for their age. We all kind of understood what was going on with our parents, so we just took care of ourselves. Oh no! The feels! Oh, oh god. I guess that's why I prefer to hang out with you and the others. There wasn't any big drama. Well, except that one time. Wait, huh? What? What one time? Well... There was one time in high school. It was around graduation, so mm -hmm. we were all supposed to be studying for finals. We were all supposed to meet up, but Rosa was late. That's when we all decided to try and look for her in the school. Uh-oh, what happened? Rosa? Uh, Peter, I... Uh... Rosa, are you... crying? I had no idea what was going on, but I found Rosa in the corner of the library. She oh was no, crying what happened? Like a complete mess. Like someone seriously had hurt her. N no! No, I'm fine! It's okay! Rosa. No! Hug Come her! On, you can tell me. What's wrong? It's just... I don't want to cause any drama, okay? You're not causing any drama. Just tell me. That's when she told me that... Well... What? She told me that she confessed her feelings to you, and you didn't answer her. Oh, fuck! That makes sense! I knew it! See, I told you there there was, like, some romantic feelings between those two. Cause, oh, that makes so much sense. 
Oh, what the fuck, Kristen? You didn't answer? What the hell's wrong with you, dude? Uh, um, Chris, before you go... Hmm? What is it, Rosa? Chris, I, uh... Oh, no! I wanted to say, um, Chris, I really like you. Oh! Would you go out with me? Rosa! Rosa, I... Gotta go. Wow! Chris, you were a fucking asshole! <laughs> you could have at least said no, like, Jesus. Chris? Wow! I remember. Yeah, she calmed down to join us, but I don't think anyone else but me knew what was going on. Guess you really can't call that drama, huh? How could I do that to her? Wow, I'm a douche! Yes, you are, Chris, you fucking ass! <laughs> I'm curious, though. What? Why didn't you reply to her? I mean, you're not an asshole. At least I don't remember you ever being an asshole. Uh-huh. But to not respond to Rosa... Yeah! Because out of all of them, aside from Peter, Rosa's like the sweet one. Like, what the fuck? Gee, thanks, Pete. <laughs> Why did I hesitate? Can't remember. But maybe my guilt will remind me? How did I feel about Rosa? Uh, how do I feel about her? Well, I... I mean, I should- Oh, you can- Whoa! That's right, because you can go in a relationship with Peter. I- Michaela, I love you. Thank you for including that you can be, uh, gay. Or not straight, actually, in this game. So that- I really appreciate that. But, for me, I don't know if- I don't think you can romance anyone else, except for Rose and Peter. And, um... Not that I don't like Peter or anything. He's a nice he's a nice boy, but I kind of want to go with Rosa. Kind of want to go with Rosa. Also, I know Christy has balls deep for Peter, so, you know. Anyway, uh, I don't want to disappoint her. I'll say that. I liked her. I can tell that I did and that I still do somehow, but something held me back. Was it fear? I don't know. I didn't want to drag her down. I mean, come on. Look at her now. She's a med student and I... Well. Aww. Hey. Don't put yourself down like that. She'd still love you. Clearly, because she was fucking blushing earlier. My, my, look at the time. And this guy ruins the game. game. God damn it. Everyone, to the main room, please. All right, hey guys. So I was just literally just, I'm editing the this Let's Play right now. This is very meta. <laughs> but uh, I did uh, pick Peter uh, for the choice in the room selection. But w after we discovered his confession about him learning that Rosa had a crush on Chris and then she confessed to him and essentially he didn't answer, I kind of wanted to see what was Rosa's perspective on this side. So I'm going to go back into it because I think I'm pretty much in her route. Because I know there's two routes. It's Peter and Rosa. And I'm pretty much in her route. So I just kind of want to see like what she says. I'm very curious. This is bothering me, so I had to go back and like figure out what was gonna happen. So let's go see what happens here. Rosa has been on my mind. For some reason, I feel a little close to her. Maybe it's some sort of feminine charm, but I have to need I have the need to speak to her. Especially with Sarah on my mind. Rosa? Chris? Come in. Her room is practically perfect, like she didn't even sleep. Her bed looks untouched. Rosa, have you been sleeping? Oh no. Huh? Oh, uh, she hasn't. No, we're gonna call her out. I told her she should sleep, you know. Rosa. Chris? You haven't, have you? Uh... I knew it. Despite being stuck in here, we all need to- we all need to rest. I don't want her passing out during the games. Rosa, you need sleep. I know, but... Hmm? I've been thinking about our kidnapper. What about? Uh, our kidnapper? Why? I'm trying to pin down who he could be. If Xavier is right, then we know him. Yet, I seriously cannot recall any person I know who has connections with us who would do this. So they don't have, like, any other friend that they might have, like, fallen out with in high school or something? Oh, she looks cute. Look at her. Huh? Is that a, a napkin? Where did you get that napkin? Huh? There are a bunch in the kitchen in one of the drawers. I found a pen in there as well. It must have been left in there. I think that was left on purpose. Huh. I never really checked in the kitchen thoroughly, did I? Then again, not many of us would think to do that. But looking at every person I remember, I can't recall a single person who would be able to pull something like this off. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, we're talking about a secret underground bunker with some sort of Exactly! High it's a rich motherfucker! He can't be a teacher or a student from our school. Plus, they know of Sarah. 
So that means they have to be really close. Who is who would be rich enough and like own this much shit? That makes no sense. Rose has really put a lot of thought into this. Has she always been this way? <clears throat> uh oh, Chris. Oh shit. That's right. She's an extremely st a studious student. There wasn't a day that she hasn't had a textbook or a notebook in her hand or bag. However, she wasn't a very social girl, and not many people liked her at our college. Oh, why? Jeez, I like her. Do you know about this big girl in our honors lab? Apparently, she has a full ride here. I bet she likes to flaunt it like some queen or something. Wow, fuck you. I actually heard she's a freak prodigy. Like, she keeps carrying around her textbooks, even for classes she doesn't have. <gasps> they bullied Rosa! How dare they! She is a precious little cinnamon roll! You can't do that! What is up with that? Must think she's smarter than all of us. It wasn't that she wasn't prideful of her intelligence, but something definitely turned off any social desire in in her to interact with anyone but our group. I don't blame her. If people are like treating you like that, you wouldn't want to talk to anybody else but your friends, right? Maybe it was because we entered and stuck it out through middle school together. I never figured it out. Oh, they've been friends that long? She even made notes about random topics that we talked about when we were all studying together. Rosa, are you listening? What are you writing? Huh? Oh, I was writing about color patterns. Huh? But you're not an art student. I know, but it's interesting to think about how we all view colors differently and stuff. She's a Is dork! Just a little bit, Rosa. Xavier! Eh, at least she's not stressing about her dissection test. Well, I still am, but might as well not stress too much about it, right? She never failed the test. The lowest grade she has ever gotten was an A-, minus, simply because she missed a single quotation in the essay. Yet, she made time to be with us. Thinking on it now, Rosa definitely was a sweet girl. I just can't remember why she became so antisocial. Maybe Chris, because everyone's bullying Chris, her. Are you okay? Huh? Jeez, you scared me. Here, I ran and got you some water. Thanks. Aww. What happened? Did you remember something? She shit. She might be thinking that I remember something about the kidnapper, but in reality, I was thinking about her. I'm gonna tell her the truth. I don't give a shit. I was thinking about you. Not really. I was remembering something about you, I guess. Huh? About me? Yeah, about how you were in college and stuff, you know? You were always taking notes and fine things the rest of us couldn't, even before Xavier. The look on Rose's face is completely ignamic. Uh, I... Well, I guess that's something. Well, that went nowhere fast. I bet she thinks I'm weird now. Great. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fuck. No, no, it's fine. I mean, it's memory, so it's important. We did something. I guess she understands. Uh, let's continue. Still, maybe she remembers how we became, how she became antisocial. She seems to remember much more than I had. Say, Rosa. What is it? Do you remember having any other friends except for us in college? Us being everyone in this bunker. Does she not remember? Mm, I don't think so. I think you and the others were my only friends. I didn't seem to get a headache, so maybe she already remembered. Do. You you remember why? Hmm. Hopefully she does. Well... My mind! Alright, let's flash back to when I played this yesterday. God damn. Really? Another game. How marvelous. Not... At least I'm finished cooking. It'll wait for us after the game. Reward, you know? Yeah, reward if I don't kill you guys. <laughs> yeah. I hope it'll be good. Hopefully we'll all get to eat after. Oh god, I'm scared now. Let's just get this over with. Don't act like you're getting used to this. That's creepy. Well, Lisa, how else are we supposed to act the at this point? The faster we get this done, though, the better. So Xavier's right to think that way. Still, we shouldn't make it out like this is a familiar feeling. All of you are so obedient today. I wonder what changed. Don't fool yourself. We just want to leave. Exactly. Does Chris know the truth? Well, no, but... Then you can't leave. Fuck you! We don't remember everything yet. As soon as we do, Chris will know the truth. And until then, you all will keep going through this game over and over. Has this game done nothing to help? All it's done is put us in danger. We can't remember anything under such stress. Is that so? Hmm. What is this guy implying? Well, oh, we'll God. see after I reveal this don't, next part of the fucking... story. Don't fucking... It's sure to pique some interest. All right, get over with it. Hurry it up. Exactly. So testy today, Xavier. Have I touched a nerve? 
You're pissing me off, that's for sure. Of course, of course. The brave and mighty Xavier standing up to the cruel and evil bird that is his captor. So noble. And yet, so laughable. Do not make fun of my boy, goddammit! Just hurry up! Xavier, calm down! There's no getting used to route there's no use in getting riled up so quickly. We have to go through this, or we may get we or we may get electrocuted. It's okay, oh, that's Chris. right, the bracelet. You can do it. Huh? Sarah? Huh? Chris, what's the matter? He's hallucinating. Mm -hmm. Shit, I don't want to let them know that I keep hearing Sarah or that or else they'll freak out and that mask guy will like capitalize on or something. Sorry. I'm just tired. It's nothing. All right. Is the kidnapper gonna rob me out? I'm very sure at least he heard me. Well then, the story. Huh, interesting. Thank God. Finally, the butterfly met the bird, who sang a sweet little song, and asked the butterfly to fly away with them. Okay. The butterfly agreed, and began to follow. In the bushes, a cowardly spider quietly watched, as the butterfly was led away to a dark patch of woods. So we have a ladybug, a bee, and a spider, but the bee was the enemy in the last game, so what does that mean? Are any of them are truly insects of the story, or is the story a fake? Interesting. What? What's so interesting now? No one seems to be getting affected. By what? What are you talking about? What? What are you talking? Hey! You can't just do that! What? I can, and I did. So let the game begin. What a jackass! He's just gonna say that and not answer them? Fuck this guy. Whoa, now he's rushing us? What's the matter with this guy? Did we finally make him snap or something? I guess I better hurry up with the game. I just gotta breathe and do it. Fuck me. I'm gonna fucking die again. What is that stuff in the middle? What? I don't... Ah! <laughs> wow, that scared me! Okay. Where else can I go? Oh my god, fuck! God damn it! <laughs> My heart! You can't do that, you jackass! I hate this! I hate this! Uh, water stopped! Thanks, Chris! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Alright, you know what? I fucking died, so let me just restart this anyway. Another game was beaten. Oh god. Well done. Well done. I did a lot better with that one. Wait. What's with this tone? <laughs> Take that, you piece of shit. Xavier, I love you, but shut up. This game you throw at us. I've noticed. Oh, he's angry because he didn't think Chris would get this far. Is he angry? What's the matter? I thought you enjoyed seeing us like this. You misunderstand my amusement, then. Who cares? The game's over. This game, yes. I had much more planned for you all. But it seems that these games are having little effect on your memories and are merely delaying the final product I was looking for. What the fuck does that mean? What? What is he talking about? Wait, this entire time? You're trying to get us to remember the past with torture? This is why I despise youth. What? Ignorant and small-minded. Unable to comprehend their surroundings and situation unless guided. How in the hell was torture supposed to get us to remember anything? The story. What? The story? You mean that creepy tale he kept telling us? Subjecting the human mind to vast that amounts of stress is both a hindrance and an improvement in explicit memory. Using emotionally linked words during a moment of anxious duress can cause memories to be recalled. So you're just panicking them so that they'll remember shit. Fuck you! Stress hormones can literally enhance the brain's ability to remember certain events Key emotional phrases are used. So, that story you've been telling us... ...was meant to force memories out. I thought the wording of it would click through. However, it seems to have been for naught. That is what I get for trying a new method of assessment. Well, fuck you, because your plan's all fucked up now. So you put us through this game for nothing?! Not so, Lisa. As all experiments have potential, this one just ended in failure. That does not mean that I cannot get what I desire. Huh. How do you plan to do that? Indeed. How? Like the mask guy's gonna tell us. How many times will this world become more psychotic? How are we supposed to get out of here at this rate if this guy is literally experimenting? One final game. No more games, thank you very much. 
Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the episode right here. Uh, that's all the maze games I can handle right now. <laughs> so, uh, so far, once again, I'm pretty sure the person who is, like, guilty or, or has something to do with Sarah's disappearance is Chris. I don't think it's any of the friends, just because of the way everything's being worded right now. I have a feeling it's Chris. Maybe... It's a way to torture him just because it's his fault for getting his kid sister kidnapped. I don't think he was the one who kidnapped the sister. I don't think he was directly involved. I think this is just, like, a way to get revenge for him not looking out for Sarah. But then that raises the question is who this masked man is. Because we did see him in the ending. And I, I kept thinking maybe it's Sarah behind the whole thing. But the masked man sounds very similar to the dude who killed Chris in the previous episode when I got the bad ending. So... Maybe, once again, maybe it's an old friend that they lost connection with and just wants revenge or something like that. It has to be someone who he's knowing because he's been watching them the entire time. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. You guys let me know what you guys think. And if you guys are going to talk about things in the comments, please use spoiler tags just in case. As promised, I did say I was going to give away five uh, keys for Remember Remember. So today is going to be the first key. And I'm going to pick randomly from my YouTube comment channel. Again, if you guys would like to enter to win a Steam key, the rules are in the description. Just check them out and follow them. And in the next episode, I will pick the next winner. All right. And the winner is Chippy Pie. So this is your comment. Thank you for everybody who entered. Again, there are four Steam keys left. So you you can still enter for those if you would like. Just follow the rules in the description. And Chippy Pie, I'll be messaging you on YouTube. So check your YouTube inbox and uh, I will give you the Steam key. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Remember Remember. And if you did, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And if you guys would like to support me on Patreon, there's a link in the description where you can check it out. You get early access to videos, uh, videos that are only Patreon exclusive, and a bunch of other cool stuff. So if you want to check out Patreon and support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Or if you would prefer to buy artwork from my store, I'm going to be updating it very soon. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Serious dude! I just killed Ashley! So, I'm so gay. Well, yeah, prove it. I totally will. So I assume they have sex while she is drunk. Well, they're both drunk, but Liliana is more drunk.